This is, this is something else other than the boats that are coming from France bearing mostly uh, Middle East and North African migrants. Uh, do we know who the people that these uh, Eastern European criminal gangs are actually smuggling into the UK, such as these Albanians? Who are they and why, are they, why do they want to be smuggled in? Yeah, on this particular occasion, they were, as you say, Albanians. Now, the court said that, uh, as far as they understood, the vast majority of those who were paying 15000 a head for that trip to Great Yarmouth wanted, obviously, to come to the UK to work illegally in the black economy. There were, uh, and they could mm. afford the £15,000. There were others on board, though, who didn't have the £15,000 to hand. So what happens is they would enter into deals with the people smugglers and would effectively become modern slaves on this side of the North Sea when they got to the UK. So they would enter that modern slavery system that it is so very difficult to get back mm. out of once you are embroiled in that. Uh, and we're told that actually among the 69 people who were on board this vessel uh, was a convicted rapor rapist and a convicted murderer. So, you know, these are the kinds of people that clearly uh, the Home Office, the National Crime Agency, want to know uh, are coming into our country. But they were the attempt was to bring them in illegally. And I think what is uh, notable about this particular case is we have been quite understandably focused on the situation in the Channel. I was down, Mark, in Dover last week again, down there on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, as yet more boats came across. Uh, but, of course, this just shows how the organised criminal networks are expanding all of the time, looking for new ways uh, to circumvent our borders and get into the UK. Well, it's interesting because certainly uh, Scandinavia has had trouble with uh, the Baltic states, uh, try, various gangs and so forth trying this. It's interesting uh, that they're bypassing uh, Sweden, uh, Denmark and Norway and, uh, and heading straight to, to the UK now. That's uh, an interesting development. Thank you very much for that, Mark. And we know you're going to be staying on top of this story 